QuickBooks, how to enter credit card payment. Hey there, everyone. This is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Hey, before we get started, I want you to check out the masterclass over at the QuickBooks University. Uh, the website is up on the screen and I have a link down in the first pinned comment below. Uh, basically over there, what you can do is sign up for the masterclass when you join the Lifetime Learning Program. I personally answer all of your QuickBooks questions. It's like having one-on-one -on -one support for anything that you need. Okay, so let's get started. So in QuickBooks, how to enter a credit card payment, I get this question a lot. You know, what account do I put it to? How do I do this? Now, there's going to be two different scenarios when you're entering a credit card payment. There's going to be a time when you, let's say it's during the month and it's before the next statement comes out and you make a payment to the credit card. And then there's going to be when you actually get your statement and you make uh, the payment to the credit card, whether that's the minimum payment, whether you pay off the balance, whatever the case may be. Okay, so I'm going to go through both of those scenarios. So the first one is, let's say it's during the month and you have a credit card balance and you say, you know what, I'm going to send 100 bucks to my credit card, 500 bucks, doesn't matter. You have a balance and you're going to make a payment. So the easiest way you're going to do this, most likely you have gone online and made the payment. Uh, or you could write a check. Now, this day and age, most people are just going online, they're making a credit card payment, it's electronic, and they're done. So you go into QuickBooks and you have to record that. The simplest way is to go into banking and go to write checks, okay? Now, I know you're saying, well, I didn't write a check, and that's okay, this is how you're gonna record it. So first of all, what you're gonna do is you're going to make the check payable to the credit card company. So. We've got, uh, I believe there's a credit card in the sample company file. Here's one right here, QuickBooks MasterCard. Okay, so yours may be Chase, it could be Capital One, Citibank, it doesn't matter. You're going to put pay to the order of the credit card company. You should have them in as a vendor already. If you do not, and this is the first time you're doing this, then you're gonna have to add them as a vendor. now. Keep in mind, what I'm showing you right now is when you're making a payment during the month. This is not when you get your statement. It is not when you're paying the credit card bill. It is when you're just making a random, unscheduled payment to the credit card. All right, so now we're going to put in the amount. Let's say it's 100 bucks. The date should, de to, should default to the day you're entering this. So if you made the card payment on a different date, you want to change this date to whatever that is. And then up here... If it is a check that you wrote to the credit card company, you can put in the check number here. But if it's an electronic payment, what you do is you just type in, I put in EFT. Some people put in debit, some people put electronic, just something other than a check number since there is no physical check written. Now, when we do this and we say EFT, it's gonna record this in the check register within QuickBooks and reduce our cash and it's gonna show the check number as EFT so that you know that was an electronic payment. So again, you can put in here anything you want other than a check number to signify that it's an electronic payment and you wanna keep that consistent for all electronic payments that you make and record in QuickBooks. Okay, so we're gonna say EFT, 100 bucks, and then down here, you wanna make sure that the account is the credit card account. All right, so QuickBooks credit card, that's the account. So if yours is Capital One, if it's Chase, Citibank, whatever it is, you wanna make sure that it's set up as a liability account and you are paying it to the credit card. So here, what you're gonna do is just hit save and close and you're done. You have recorded the unscheduled payment to the credit card. Now, the second way you're gonna do this is when you actually get your statement. Now, I have videos on how to do this because the process is what you want to do is you get your statement, you know, again, if it's electronic or if you get a paper statement, you need to make sure that you are entering all the credit card charges from that statement. Now, you will probably use the bank feed function. So when you do the bank feed, you're going to accept the transactions, enter the charges, and let's assume that all those charges have been input for the month. Once those charges are all input for the credit card, then you're going to go to banking and you're going to reconcile your credit card. 
So let me bring this over here. And this is a sample file, so it's not going to reconcile. So you're going to do this just like a checking account reconciliation. You're going to put in the ending balance of your credit card, the date, the credit card you're reconciling, and then the finance charge if there is any. So you're going to hit continue. And you're going to go through and you're going to check off, okay, yes, this, uh, this charge was put here. And you'll see here that this unscheduled payment was put in for 100 bucks. Okay, so we say that, we say that, and uh, we look down, we make sure that this is a zero dollar balance. Now, again, keep in mind, this is a sample company file. So it is not going to reconcile because none of the transactions are lined up. In your case, when you reconcile, the difference would be zero and you would say reconcile now and we're going to enter the adjustment and then you'll see this comes up and it says, do you wanna write a check for payment now or enter a bill for payment later? You can do either. Most people will enter a bill for payment later. So you click okay and it takes you to the bill screen. All right, so let me close this here and the vendor is going to be the QuickBooks MasterCard. And the bill amount due is 500 bucks. Now this is where you can say, I'm only making a minimum payment. I'm only, you know, I'm gonna pay off the balance. I'm gonna, whatever payment you're gonna make, you're gonna enter the bill for. So let's say that we're gonna make the minimum payment of $41. The bill due date is December 25th and the account is QuickBooks credit card. So now what this is gonna do is put this in as a bill. So when you go to vendor, pay bills. And again, I have full tutorials on this in, in YouTube, so look those up. All right, so you're gonna see now the, the bill right here is QuickBooks MasterCard, $41, and you're gonna pay that bill just like normal. Again, so there's really two ways. One is when you have an unscheduled payment just sometime during the month, you're just gonna put it in directly as a check. And the other way is when you get your statement, you're gonna enter the credit card charges, you're gonna reconcile, and then you're going to enter the bill. And when you pay the bill, it'll reflect that payment against the credit card. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. And uh, also, again, check out the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org.